Welcome to today's episode. As you know, I've been recording episodes with my siblings and finally saved last for best. Wait. <laughs> last but not least, maybe the best, I have my sister Amara with me. Amara, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi. My name's Amara. I'm 17. Kyra's younger sister. There you go. It's funny because I asked the kids to introduce themselves and they're like, Hi. I'm so-and-so, and And I'm like, okay, anything else? And they're like, uh, uh, (laughs) so I guess you got the memo about introducing yourself. Good job. I'm going to ask you the exact same questions I asked everybody else. So are you ready? Yes. (sighs) Okay. Favorite thing about each other. Do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? Um, you can go first. Okay, my favorite thing about you is that if you are determined about something, nothing will stop you. For example, we were going to go to a water park the other day, and so you helped pack all the lunches, and you made breakfast, and then I remember lots of times, one time, you wanted a dog, and so you cleaned a whole bunch to be able to move furniture around to be able to get the dog, And anytime you want something and you're determined about it, you will do anything to get it. And I think that determination is really cool. Thanks. My favorite thing about you is probably that you care a lot about your siblings and the people that you care about. You really, you don't go halfway and you check in and you're always there, even if you're not physically there, but, you know. Thank you. I also like that you seek truth. It's another thing I like about you. Okay, what is your favorite memory of us? Um, probably sitting in the playroom and setting up the Barbies so they could watch the TV and being like a movie theater. There's like a picture of it somewhere. And then we watched Mako Mermaids. Yeah, or one of the Barbie movies. That's true. Do you remember when we watched Sophia the First, the movie, the very first time? No, I don't remember that. Yeah, we or, used to... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Or when you made the Perry the platypus, and then we, <laughs> we like, made videos of us feeding it. And <laughs> I don't, I don't know where that. it is. I don't know where the Perry the platypus is. Oh, it's for sure in the garbage. It's gotta be. There's videos on the leap pad and stuff. Do we still have those? Yeah. Dang. Somewhere. If you charge them, you can pull up the videos, but mom doesn't know how to, like, transfer it onto the computer so we can save the videos. Oh. But they're so cute, the little videos. So we used to have these little leap pads, and basically it was our version of a camera at the time. It was just a camera. And so we would record videos, and they are really funny. I remember one video when we're, like, talking, and then Elora screams. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. There's a very specific video, and at the time she's, like, probably, like, three or something. Two or three. and But her scream is, man, it's like, ah! And then... Yeah, it's funny. So, I like that. My favorite memory of us is I love when we spent time doing things like painting and watching movies or going somewhere and having a conversation or going in and out and just talking. I always like the one-on-one time when we can just chill and hang out, no pressure. Yep. She's just nodding at me. (laughs) The next thing is your favorite thing to do. Mm. I like to sleep. I like to sleep too, so that's fair. Uh, I'm gonna have this closer to you. You like to sleep? I also like to sleep. Anything else you like to do? I like eating (laughs) and taking a bath and sometimes pooping. (laughs) Okay! I think you're all sounding relatable. What the frick with the pooping? That's so random. (laughs) You don't ever poop and it's just, like, really nice. (laughs) Yeah, it feels nice to have it out of my system, I guess. (laughs) That is true. (laughs) In my psychology class, we actually talked about that. That, Pooping? Yeah, that it feels good. We talked about that. Interesting. Isn't that weird? 
Not really. <laughs> it's random. Okay, next thing. It wasn't random when we were talking about it, though, because we were talking about one of the psychologists. Oh my gosh, I hate yawning. One of the psychologists and his beliefs and one of the stages was the anal stage, and so we were talking about that. Anyway, the next thing. What do you want to do when you grow up? Um... I want to learn how to do acrylic nails and eyebrows and eyelashes and facials. I don't want to do hair, though, so I'm not, like, cosmetology or mm -hmm. just, like, esthetician. I want to, like... She specifically wants to do nails. Yeah, nails and, like, facials. and. That's cool. She has been doing her own nails for quite some time now, and she's got really talented at it. Thanks. Yeah, you do it, like, once a week or once... Mm, yeah. Once a, once in a, once, one and a half weeks, I guess, maybe. Yeah, so she looks, she does them really nice. She does her own nails. Ah! And you also are able to use with your non-dominant hand, too, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. What is one thing you remember from when I lived at home? Hmm... If you expose me, I'll put it in there, but Corman already did. What did he say? He was like, you are in your room a lot. <laughs> oh. Corman's like, you don't post my thing. It's just going to be bad for your podcast. And I'm like, well, you're the one who sounds high on it. <laughs> Eek. He told me he did that on purpose, though. Mm, I can imagine yeah. what he said. Um... Do you want me to pause it? Why do you think? Mm, no. Probably just like going in your room and talking. Or if you like, if I had a bad day or something, I could just go in your room and talk to you about something and <laughs> laugh. I feel like we made rainbow loom bracelets too. I think we did that. You just reminded me <laughs> of the time you were in my room, and this is not my best moment, okay? But you were hanging up my clothes to oh, be yeah. able to borrow my phone. And then you lied to Dad. <laughs> that was awful. It was so awful. Dad was like, where's Amara? You were like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm standing in the bathroom. No, no, no. The best part is that I told you to turn... The fan off or the light off or something. And you started throwing hangers at the wall. Do you remember that? Yeah. I remember being like, what are you doing? And then we heard dad's steps. And I was like, quick, hide. <laughs> oh my gosh. I totally forgot about that until just barely. Yeah, that's, that was funny for sure. If you could have one wish, what would you want? More wishes. Okay, I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> Anything else? What would you do with one of those wishes? Mm. Unlimited money. There you go. Or like learn, like speak every language. That would be so cool. And like that includes like animals too. That would be really cool. Like what I would give to know what Stella's thinking. <laughs> Stella's one of our dogs, if you remember from Laura's podcast, or episode, and it's funny because she's just kind of crazy and everywhere. What is your favorite thing in school? Hmm. Probably unified. It's a lot of fun. Do you want to give a brief description of what that is? Um, it's basically PE for special needs kids, and... I don't know. It's just like, I feel like a lot of times those kids are kind of babied and treated like they're fragile, but like in unified sports, they're surrounded by kids that are just like them and, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to baby them because most of the time they are stronger than they look or they understand more than you would think and, you know, it's like fun to build relationships with them and 
I feel like it gives you an insight on, like, how some people live, and it's, like, helps you to be grateful for what you have, and, you know. Mm -hmm. I like that. Thank you. What is your favorite movie? Uh, probably one of the Marvel movies. Um, I like the Spider-Mans, but the new Guardians of the Galaxy was really good. Yeah, I really want to see that. I'm excited to see that. You haven't that. seen it? Uh, I've heard it's really funny, though. Mm, it is good. What is your favorite Disney movie? Probably Princess and the Frog, or... I mean, I know the Marvel movies are Disney, too, but... Right. Princess um, and the Frog is good. Probably Hercules. That's another a, good one. Those are good movies. I don't think I ever shared my favorite Disney movie. My favorite Disney movie is The Thirteenth Year. Very specific movie, but I can watch it again and again and again, and I don't get tired of it, so. I've never seen it. You might have. You just don't recognize it. What it's about? It's what about the it? guy, a boy who turns 13, and he starts turning into a fish or merman or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have seen that. I was like, there's no way you haven't seen it, because I watched it all the time. I feel like we've watched it together, probably. We did. Okay, so the word of the day is vim. And not Vim. That's the word we did for Alora. <laughs> Awkward. Okay. Who's Boone? The word of the day is Boone. Do you want to read some of the things? Boone as a noun is a blessing, godsend, bonus, good thing, benefit, help, aid, advantage, gain, asset, privilege, luxury, windfall. Oh, okay. Bonanza. <laughs> Stroke of luck, piece of good fortune, perk plus point pro, pers, perk, perkis, yep. Yep. Some of those words are weird. Curse. Oh, antonyms is curse or disadvantage. Okay, how can you fit that into what we've talked about today at all? Um... Family is a blessing. I do believe that. Family is a boon. Family is a boon. <laughs> Big boon family. <laughs> boon boon. Boon boon. <laughs> it's a good thing, bonus, benefit, advantage, asset, privilege. I like it. Family is a boon. <laughs> As an adjective, it means bosom, close, intimate, confidential, inseparable, faithful, special, dear, favorite. Ooh. My family is, is, or my boon family. Oh, okay, yes. Stella is my boon. <laughs> that is, that works. <laughs> boon, boon. I should start calling her that. Maybe you boon, can. Boon, boon. <laughs> Maybe you can't say boon by itself, though. It has to be double. Boon, boon. Double blessing. Very nice. So the quote of the day is, Sometimes the weight on your body. Wait, I need to restart. Redo okay, that. okay. Sometimes. I lost it. It's okay. It's okay. Let me find it. <laughs> oh, sometimes the weight you need to lose isn't on your body. Ooh, I like that. What about that sticks out to you? Um, a lot of what weighs us down can be the people around us, or... Sometimes even just habits that we have, or... Maybe emotions that we get stuck in. For sure. Yeah, I like that. Well, thank you guys so much for listening. So, thank you guys so much for listening. Don't forget to embrace imperfection, find meaning, satisfaction, and joy from the journey. I'm Kyra. I'm Amara. And this is Imperfectly, Imperfectly Broken, Broken, the, the podcast. podcast. Do, 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 do.